Hi, this is James, and first thing I want to tell you today is that I hate my computer. And it's not for something petty, it's because it's extremely difficult to do normal things. Example, in order to record a video, if I want to do any kind of editing, at all, meaning I don't upload straight to YouTube from YouTube's site, which is always easy for anyone, I have to go through two or three different programs. Yeah. Windows Live Movie Maker sucks. Yes. However, the normal video control panel program on my computer, when I record on it, it plays back the video like 12 times speed and the audio normal. So I can't use that. And the editor tool that I like to use, Pinnacle, which is free, Pinnacle Studio, whatever, it has its own problems because my screen's so small because I have a netbook that I can't actually see the bottom half of the control panel, so I can't add audio effects or sound or anything because once I add it, it's there and I can't even move my cursor over it to move it because it's not on the screen and there's no way of making the box smaller. That's a little infuriating. However, it's the only thing I can even use because Windows Live Movie Maker won't even really work. However, I have to still use Windows Live Movie Maker to record the video because Pinnacle doesn't have a record straight from webcam option. Oh, it just makes me so happy to record videos and spend like two hours using them and then have them completely destroyed by Windows Live Movie Maker like happened last week. And by completely destroyed, I mean literally completely destroyed, like corrupt the actual files on my computer. How does a program even do that? How does a program corrupt files that it's using secondarily? I don't even get it. Okay, so this is the third time I've tried to make this video. So the jokes I said in the first two times, I don't even want to say anymore. Because, like, I don't think they're as funny because I've heard them twice already. Like, this video is indie. Ooh, it's my, it's my indie blog because I'm wearing glasses and I have a beard and I'm, I'm wearing my v-neck. Ooh, ooh, it's so cool. That was funny two videos ago, and now it's just frustrating. Yeah. So the big thing that's happened this last few days is that my ATM card got eaten by an ATM machine. Yes, I know. ATM machine is oxymoronic because ATM stands for automated teller machine. I'm also going to say PIN number in this video, and PIN number stands for Personal Identification Number Number. So just get over it. So anyways, I forgot mine. So when I went to put it in, I was kind of screwed. To set up the situation for you, though, although usually I just would have taken the card out and called someone and asked them to remember what it was or found where I wrote it down or whatever, but no. Situations were specially designed just to screw me over. So that weekend, it was Thursday after class. Class got out at 4 p.m. Um, my my roommate told me he was going to Venice at 9 p.m. that night, and that the train station closed at 5, but that he had found a good train to Venice for 100 euros round trip, and this was perfect. Someone else was going. I don't like traveling by myself. I, I, I just don't like it. And this was great. I was going to go to the train station and get it out. So I went to the train station. I had about 45 minutes, 35 minutes to spare put my ATM card in the machine, and I can't remember the number. Get the phone out, do ba do ba do look up my number, because I usually save my PIN number under some random person's name in my phone, and I realize it's not there. I don't have it. I, I, I don't have it saved, which is stupid, because I know I saved it. I know I saved it. So, all right, no big deal. I'll look up my mom's number. My mom brought the ATM card to me earlier this semester when they came and visited, because my debit card had already fallen out of my wallet earlier this semester. Don't judge me. I've had a lot of card troubles this semester. Let's just move on. So, get on my phone, look up my mom's number, say, okay, maybe she'll remember, or maybe she'll have it written down or something. So I get up my phone, and I don't have that number either. Oh my gosh, I was so frustrated. Because I know for a fact that I saved that number in the phone. And there's no reason for it not to be there, except that my phone's asinine and stupid and doesn't remember things, doesn't actually save when I press save. Okay, I know what you're saying, probably thought I pressed save both those times and didn't press save. 
but I've saved other messages before. I've saved tons of messages before. Um, as reminders, as different kinds of things, and it was nowhere. It was nowhere. Nowhere to be found. That's very frustrating. I, I, I had 30 minutes to figure out what my ATM number was, and I couldn't figure it out, so I just guessed. That might not have been the best decision looking back on things. When you enter your number three times, but it's the wrong number, they eat your card, and they don't give it back. They ate my card, and they want to give it back. I even went to the person in the front and asked them to open up the machine and give it back to me, and they went it. They opened up the machine, looked at it, said, oh, I'm sorry, you have to contact your local bank. Yeah, sorry, my local bank's 2,500 miles away on a different continent. They don't care. Get a replacement card. Because anytime this happens, we destroy it and next morning. Ah. Destroy it? Are you kidding me? It's like, yeah, you have to get a replacement card. And I shouted, kind of, I, I almost shouted. I wanted to shout, where's a replacement card? <sighs> so not only did I not go to Venice, now I have no money. To make a long story short, I know too late. IG loaned me a couple hundred euros so I can make it through. I'm still planning on going to Budapest this next weekend, but for a few days there was very hairy, very kind of, I didn't know what was going to go on, I didn't know how I was going to get money, etc, etc. The bank, I called them the next day, they're going to mail the debit card to my parents, and my parents will mail the debit card to me, and I'll be happy, go lucky, fine, jolly, I think. Um, but it was really stressful and really frustrating that weekend. So, that's my fun second losing a card experience here in Austria in two months. I've never lost a debit card before in my life, so I promise I'm not usually bad at this kind of stuff. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm going to say goodbye because this is ridiculously long. Bye. See you later. They eat your card, and they don't give it back. They eat my card, and they want to give it back. It just makes me so happy. That's very frustrating.